hello and welcome to this demo on creating a simple systemd linux service so systemd gives us the ability to create services of almost anything if you want to run an application or make sure that an application is available after a reboot then consider creating a service that can manage that for you so in this demo we're going to cover creating a simple bash script to output the date to a log file we're going to set up a basic systemd service unit file we're going to reload the systemd to pick up the new service we're going to enable it we're going to start it we're going to check it works then we're going to test it with a reboot so there's no documentation for this, um, but if you need to search, just look on Google. And don't forget to subscribe and check out all my other videos. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is just create a simple script. I'm going to call it simpleservice.sh. And it's just a simple bash script. It's pre-prepared. It's going to be in the description below. So you can just cut and paste this yourself and use it. Okay, so I'll just bring those back in again. But this is it nice and simple so between it's going to try a hundred times and write the date to that log file and then it's going to sleep for five seconds and then it's going to do it again okay so save that and um, what we need to do now is just give it permissions to run so we need to do trimod plus x simple service dot sh okay let's test this let's run it now and because it will run for a hundred times, we just give it a few seconds and I'll cancel it and we'll check the log file that we've asked it to write to to see if there's anything in it. Okay, and there it is, we've got two entries, so we had it running for about 10 seconds. And you can see that's about the right time, so that's good. So the next thing you do, you need now to do is either have sudo or root access. So we're gonna go and create the, the service file. So I'm gonna become root. You can use sudo as well. So if we cd up to etc systemd system, and then we have a look in that directory, we can see there's a few other unit files in there already. You might recognize some of those. We're going to create a new one. So we're going to vi, and we're just going to call it simple.service. And I pre prepared this. This is like the most basic um, units you need to have a running service. So I just cut and paste that in. That is it. So that is it. It's going to run a bash script. It's going to run our uh, script that's just going to sit there for 100 goes and run. Um, you put your description in. Now you can add extra options for users and stuff. If your app has to run as a certain user, you can add that information in here too. I would just suggest Googling that. It's, there's loads of resources out there. So now we need to reload the daemon. So this picks up any new files in that directory. And then we should be able to do a start. And then let's check the status. Okay, so it's running, nice and simple. So we've now got a running service. So if we tail that log file, we can see that we have entries. So it started again, obviously the first two entries we began with, and then we can see that it's done three more. <coughs> yeah, so we can see that it's actually running right now. So if we just, I'm gonna cancel that. Okay, so if we just quickly look at the service again, we can see that it's actually disabled. What that means is it won't start up on reboot. So if we enable, run the enable command, and that sets up a symlink, which lets it run, it lets it start up after a reboot. So we can now see that's enabled. So if we do a reboot, and then what we'll do is, I'll pause the video quickly, and then restart it when the service back up again. It'll just take a couple of minutes. And we're back up again. So let me log back in, see into my working directory. In fact, let's actually just check it here. Check if it's running. And it is running. Brilliant. It's been up for 28 seconds. Let's tail the log. So it should be running. Should have some output in there. And uh, yeah, there it is. So that's been running for a few seconds. So that is it pretty much. That's how to set up a really simple service. You can run it on scripts, you can run it on applications. Just replace my exec start with the one for your um, application. And that's it, but check out the other videos. I've got videos on setting up AWX, on Jenkins, on GitLab. You know, so have a look, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.